Hi Cupcakes, how are you guys doing? Um, I'm back again because I first of all I wanted to give some special shout outs. Um, first of all, I want to give a special shout out to Megan Robinson and Shalisa Stansfield. Um, you guys are um have been, you know, with me in my journey for a while. Um, you guys know um Kevin and um and Kevin told you guys about my channel. And I really just want to say to the both of you guys, thank you so much for um, supporting me and looking at my channel. That really means a lot to me. Um, I really truthfully appreciate that. You have no idea how much that means to me. Um, so thank you. Um, and I also want to say thank you to, to Kevin for being my biggest supporter, for promoting me and letting people know about me. I really appreciate you for doing that. I love you so much. You have no idea. And I really truthfully want to say thank you so much to Pam as well because Pam has definitely been, you know, a sister to me, a real friend to me. She has, and, and that's the same thing that with Kevin too, um, but she has definitely been one of those people that has supported me and, and promoted my channel. And I really truthfully appreciate that. Like, you have no idea. Um... So to you guys, I really truthfully like love you guys more than you know. And I definitely want to say to all my cupcakes out here, when you find people who actually love you and support you no matter what, please keep them in your lives. Because and show them so much love and accept them and, and appreciate them. Because it's not every day when you find people that actually go hard for you and actually want to see you do better. You know what I'm saying? And I know that what they say to me comes from a good place. You know, even when it, it even when it hurts, even when it's bad, I know that it's from a good place. And that's the type of people that I want in my life. So I love you guys so much. You have no idea. Um, but I definitely want to get into this video topic. Um, it is by On the Ocean 007, and the video is called When You're Ready Coming Out. And within this video, one of their 007 said that they had a hard time coming out. They have they was having sexuality issues. They had graduated. They had family that didn't support what they're doing. They're very religious, and they're trying to figure out a way to kind of cope with that. And I guess look for support and stuff and things that sort of nature. That's kind of what I got from it. And I would personally say this. Um, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you a story. I did a video um a couple of years ago, or maybe been a year ago, with my mom and I did my coming out story and all that stuff. It's two part. If you haven't seen it, stop this video. Go and watch that video, those two videos and then come back to this one. Um but I didn't me and my mom are, are close. We're really close now. But we weren't back then. And what I did not say was this. My mom is the, was the type of person growing up who was really hard on me. You know, my mom would always just say, you a faggot, you gay, you a sissy, stop acting like a punk. You know what I'm saying? And all of this stuff that was so not true because I am indeed transgender. That's why it, it just didn't resonate then. You know, and, and it, it hurt. Because coming from a total stranger, it doesn't fucking matter. But from family, it hurts worse because you would never think that that shit would happen. You know, you would think that your family would kind of embrace you and love you. And and unfortunately, within my family, that should never happen. So I had went through phases. I thought that I was a femme boy. I thought that I was androgynous. I thought that I was a drag queen. I and then I discovered that no, I'm not neither one of those. I am indeed transgender. And I remember moving away from here and I spoke to a transgender female and she I asked her, How do you be you? You know? And she said, You know what, I can't tell you that. You know, the only way that you can honestly know how to do that is you're gonna have to put yourself within my shoes. I didn't understand it then, but now I know. She was basically telling me, walk into my own truth. Be who I am. Because at the end of the day, it's going to happen anyway. You know? And when I started walking in my truth, I felt much happier. You know? And yes, indeed, I lost a lot of friends. I, got, I had so many family members, even to this day, who don't like my ass. 
will, but will smile and laugh at me and say, you know what? I still love you. Or like, for example, I had um, an aunt of mine who, um, who just recently I went and I was at my, um, my grandma's birthday party. Um, and my aunt brought down one of her friends or, her, or should I say her friends came down to see her. And anyways, her friend was just like, you know, are you pregnant because you're really beautiful? And I said, well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And she was like, you know, she's so pretty, you know, and I said, well, thank you. You know, I said, I wish I was pregnant, but I said, I'm not, you know, <laughs> but what happened was my aunt was just like, that's not a girl. That's a boy. And you're trying to be a boy. You're trying to be a girl. He's just trying to be a girl. How you try to be a girl? Like, what they do that shit at? Like, really? You know what I'm saying? But it, it pissed me off that she said that. But what Kevin told me was, you know, you have to understand it from her perspective. You know, she didn't grow up thinking it. Her, her family taught her something different. You know, so what he told me was to do what Pam would do, which was to sit in the middle and explain it to them that, hey, this is what the situation is. I am indeed transgender. I'm a transgender female and, you know, acknowledge them about that. Tell them I'm not drag, a drag queen. I'm not femme boy. I'm not androgynous. I am indeed a transgender female. And by doing that, it, it would not only acknowledge them, it would make them know that, you know, it's not what you think. And if they didn't get it, then, then, you know, okay, things don't change overnight, but at least they'll know. You know what I'm saying? That this is indeed who I am. And and sometimes it takes it a long time for that to happen. It really does, you know, because it took a while for, you know, for that to happen. And, and my aunt to this day still would tell me stupid shit like, you know, you need to get you some pussy. And I'd be like, girl, please, I want one, but not, you know, going into one. That's not me. It's nothing against any, you know, females or nothing like that. I love y'all death, but mm, I don't know. So for me i'm just like i don't i don't personally understand the whole concept of everything being like it is so it just kind of got to me so my thing was i actually just i i would kind of just get upset about it but he was just like you know don't do that just understand that that's just what happened to them so you have to kind of understand it from their perspective um and as far as just the whole religion kind of thing i would definitely say stay prayed up you know Pray to God or whoever you believe in and let them know. You know what I'm saying? Give me that wisdom and that knowledge and understanding of, of, of understanding what's going on. You know, send these, you know, positive people and the right people in my life. Right now I need you because one thing I know for sure is men will fuck you up every time. And at the end of the day, it's just only you and God. And that's the God knows truth. Like, seriously. So... Me personally, I would tell you, stay strong within your religion. You know what I'm saying? Everyone thinks that, you know, if you're a part of the LGBT community, that you don't have no type of religion at all. Or you're not, you know, you can't be one way or the other and you're going to hell. And, and you know, when people tell me that, I tell them, put me there. If you don't have that type of ability to do, then you should just shut the hell up. You know, you don't have... You can't play God. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's just was crazy that people do that. But they do it all the time. It's crazy to me. You know? So, I personally would tell you, you know, don't let that affect you. You know what I'm saying? Stay true to who you are. Walk your own path. Create your own destiny. You know? You can't help what happened in the past with you. You can't change that. Leave that back there. And sometimes that does mean you have to leave your family and your so-called friends and everybody else that you thought had you back. Sometimes you got to leave them back there because they ain't going to get it. They're not going to understand it. You need to surround yourself around people that accept you, loves you for you, ain't trying to change you. You know what I'm saying? Who wants what's best for you. You see what I'm saying? Like all of these positive things. And yes, that does include family members too. Yes, your family will always be your family. You cannot change that. You know what I'm saying? But you can't live your life trying to please your family. Because they will let you down every time. I know this from personal experience. 
being someone who always tries to make sure that my family's always good, being that I'm always trying to make sure that no matter what the situation is, I put down what's, what's, what I'm doing right now and trying to figure out how to way to help them. I'm not doing that shit no more. I can't do it no more because all what happens is I'm killing myself. For example, it's just like a garden. You have a garden filled with weeds. What do you think weed is going to do to a beautiful flourishing garden? It's not going to do a damn thing. All it's going to do is make that garden die eventually, you know. But if you go down there and you pick those weeds out, you hold the ground, you till the ground, you put some nice little fertilizer down there. You see what I'm saying? You put the nourishments that it needs down there, water it. Eventually... The garden will start flourishing, you know, and it's nothing wrong with being different. That's what I don't get. There's nothing wrong with you at all. And people who claim to think that there's something wrong with being different, it's not. Who wants to be di Who wants to be normal nowadays? Are you kidding me? I don't want to be normal. I was never normal at all. I always knew I was different. I always knew I was unique. I always knew that there was something special about me. I didn't know how different I was. I didn't know how unique I was. But I knew it, it was something amazingly, differently divine, as me Scott would say, about me. You know what I'm saying? So, there's nothing wrong with you. Embrace your di you you being who you are. You being different is what is what makes you beautiful. Because I know I don't want to be in no damn room with somebody like me all the motherfucking time. A lot of people who act like you, all what happens is your asses ain't going to get along. It's nothing wrong with being different. Because when you're different and you stand out, it's something about that that makes you beautiful. And in this scenario with your family, the reason why I'm saying this is because the reason why you're so different is because your family does not get it. You know what I'm saying? And you have to surround yourself around people who understand you. You know what I'm saying? Who embraces you, who loves you. You know what I'm saying? Who uplifts you, who wants to see you do well. You know what I'm saying? And and if you have family members that does that, keep them. You know what I'm saying? Don't stop loving your family. Pray for them because they need that. You understand? And still teach them and, and try to make them understand. And it's not going to be easy because I'm telling you. I'm telling you from personal experiences, explaining this shit all the time, it's very nerve-wracking, it's aggravating, it's getting on your motherfucking nerves, and it makes you just feel like, what the fuck am I doing? You know what I'm saying? But if you don't, you if you if you don't have nothing to stand for, then you don't have anything at all. You know what I'm saying? Stand up and, and embrace who you are. But do that when you're ready to. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you're not ready to do that now, then I do agree. With what was said in within the video, you do need to get out and get your own place and get what's yours. And if you choose to decide to tell them that after that, then that's fine because then they can't kick you out or nothing like that. If you choose not to, it's your business. Who cares? I wish people would stop making it such a big ass deal. Shut the hell up with that. It's really stupid, in my opinion. And anybody who don't care and who and who thinks I'm saying something that you don't quite understand or agree with, you can sit on it and motherfucking rotate. That's how I feel about it. Now, if you want to know knowledge about it and you, you're you willing to understand and, and be accepted, or even if you're not willing to accept it, but if you're trying to be knowledgeable and try to understand where I'm coming from, then disregard what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Disregard that last thing that I said. And I'll be more than happy to explain it to you. But if you're trying to come on in on some hate tip, then yeah, you can sit on it and motherfucking rotate. But... You know, when you get to that point in life where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then you know what to do. You'll keep praying and you'll keep getting those answers and all that. And then you'll get to a point where you just say, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of trying to please everybody else but me. You know what I'm saying? And God truthfully sends you signs and lets you know when something's not right. He, he actually... Will, will speak to you and, it, and I truthfully feel like within your spirit he has been speaking to you because if he wasn't you would not be feeling the way that you feel right now no you wouldn't you would be ecstatically happy you would be like I'm good you know what I'm saying or you know what I know that's just my family but 
no matter what they say, I'm still good. I'm content with me. You're not happy. And I personally want to extend out a personal friendship to you and say that if you ever want somebody to talk to and you don't have nobody to talk to, you can always speak to me. You know what I'm saying? On the Ocean 007 knows this from personal experiences and On the Ocean 007 is an amazing person. And I am so like inspired by the channel. And I know why you went to them because they are amazing. You know, so um, I just personally just want to say that I would definitely keep you in my prayers. And I hope and pray nothing but the best for you because you definitely deserve it. And anybody else that's in this situation, please know that I'm always here for you. You know, so without that being said, I'm going to go now. I know this video is so long. Um, so... I love you guys more than you know. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash Waukee2008. And follow me at Twitter at Waukee2008. And I will see you guys later. All right? Bye.